Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and this is my TBR for the 1900 to 1950 readathon. This is a readathon running the month of May and it's hosted by Katie from Books and Things. I will link her announcement video in the description box. There are five challenges all about literature from between 1900 and 1950, as the name suggests. So here is what I am planning to read in the month of May. The first book is to read a book from your country. I am from Germany and therefore I have picked a book from Germany. And that is the novel Gilgi Eine von uns by Irmgard Coyne. Uh, if this book has been translated into English, you will find a link to the English translation in the description box as well. This was published in 1931 and it is, I believe, Ermgard Coyne's debut novel. I have read a later novel of hers called Das Konzernende Mädchen in English, The Artificial Silk Girl, recently, and I really loved it. That novel was about a young woman who is called, sort of fed up with her life and is trying to have a more exciting existence as she escapes to Berlin. And from what I have read about this novel is that it has a very similar setup and a very similar um, idea of a bored young woman just trying to experience life to the full. I really enjoyed Irmgard Coyne's writing that I have read so far. It's funny, it's got a sort of Virginia Woolf type stream of consciousness about it, but with a lot more satire with a lot more humour. Uh, it is very observational and it is very confident writing. I really, really loved uh, reading her novel and I can't wait to explore this one during the readathon. The second challenge is to read a book from a different country. Obviously, there is a lot of literature to pick from and, uh, and I found it really hard to pick just one novel for this challenge, but I know myself, I know I'm not the fastest reader, I know I'll be lucky if I actually manage to read five books in May, so I have narrowed it down to a single book, and that is a French classic by Colette, and the novel is Claudine at School. This is from 1900, so the very first year of the century. And uh, I am curious about this novel. It uh, caused somewhat of a scandal when it was published. Obviously, famously, Colette's novels were first attributed to her husband until it came out that she had written all of them. Um, this is a coming-of-age story that explores LGBT themes, that explores growing up and being, I guess, in the restrained setting of a boarding school. I love a boarding school novel. If you're familiar with this channel, you know this about me. So I'm very curious to read this French classic. The third challenge is to read a genre classic, and this is one where I will need your help. I want to read an Agatha Christie novel. I have read one Agatha Christie novel before, and that was Murder on the Orient Express. The reason why I read that one was because that's the one I happened to come across in the charity shop. So I read it, and I didn't like it. And when I spoke about it on my channel, so many of you said, well, duh, this is a terrible novel to start with when it comes to Agatha Christie. Why would you even start with Murder on the Orient Express? So now I turn to you and ask, which Agatha Christie novel should I read for this readathon? Before you write your recommendation in the comments, just make sure you check the publication date because it has to be a novel that's published before 1950, uh, otherwise it won't count for this readathon. So which Agatha Christie novel published in the first half of the century should I be reading? Bearing in mind the only Agatha Christie I've read so far was Murder on the Orient Express and I didn't like it. I really want to give her another go. I really want to give her a second chance because I feel like I could probably quite enjoy her novels. We just kind of got off on the wrong foot, didn't quite have the best start. What I'll do is um, I'll look at your recommendations for Agatha Christie and I'll have a look at those novels and then I might post a poll in the community tab of this channel um, and, and give you the final decision for which novel of hers I should pick up. Minerva! What's going on? What's up? You got something to say? Cats. 
Let's move on to the fourth challenge, which is read something that's not a novel. And Katie, why do you do this to me? I don't read things that aren't novels. All right, I'll give it a try. So for this challenge, I have picked an author who you're probably tired of hearing about by now because I talk about him a lot, and that is E.M. Forster. He wrote six wonderful novels that I love. He also wrote a really fascinating dystopian short story called The Machine Stops, which I can recommend if you haven't read it yet. Yes, E.M. Forster does dystopia, it's amazing. But I have picked for this challenge his first short story collection. And um, this is a story collection called The Celestial Omnibus. What a title. And it was published in 1911. And I'm hoping to be as charmed by this collection of short stories as I am by every single one of his novels. The fifth challenge that Katie has set us is uh, to read a book that's set in during or explores one of the two world wars that defined the first half of the 20th century. And I have taken this as an opportunity to explore an author who I've been meaning to dig a little bit deeper into for a while, and that is Virginia Woolf. I had a little browse, and apparently her novel Mrs. Dalloway from 1925 is an exploration of post-World War I society and the effects of the war on British society at the time. So I am planning to read Mrs. Dalloway. This will only be the second Virginia Woolf novel that I have read. The first one that I read was Night and Day, which I really enjoyed. I know that she's a little bit of a love it or hate it kind of an author, and um, I enjoyed Night and Day. I enjoyed her pamphlet, A Room of One's Own. So I'm curious to see what I think of one of her most well-known titles, of one of her most well-known novels. I feel like this is definitely going to place me in, in either the love or hate position when it comes to Virginia Woolf. But of course, I hope I love it. These were the five challenges for the 1900 to 1950s readathon, but they are not the only challenges. There is a bonus challenge, and love Katie for doing this. <laughs> I know she's not going to have any problems uh, with actually hitting that challenge, but we'll see if I manage. The bonus challenge is to read a book from every decade, 1900s, 1910s, 1920s, 30s, and 40s. So... All of the books that I have picked are from different decades. We've got uh, the Colette book, Claudine at School, in 1900. We've got um, the E.M. Forster short story collection from the 1910s. We've got Virginia Woolf's Mrs. Dalloway from the 1920s. And we've got um, the Irmgard Coin novel from the 1930s. So that means I will hit, <laughs> I will uh, be able to cross off that challenge, that bonus challenge, if the Agatha Christie novel is from the 1940s. So ideally, if you recommend me an Agatha Christie novel and it is from the 1940s, that would be amazing. If the Agatha Christie novel you recommend is not from the 1940s, I might still read it and just like not cross off that challenge. Or maybe I will use this opportunity to reread one of my favorite novels from the 1940s, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. So. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping I get to the bonus challenge, but if not, it's not a big deal. I am so glad that Katie is running this. She mentioned uh, the idea of running a early 20th century literature readathon a while ago, and I've basically been waiting for this announcement ever since. So I'm really happy it's come now. I can't wait to take part. Let me know if you are also taking part, and uh, let me know if there are any particular 1900 to 1950 related videos you would like to see from my channel coming up next month. Thank you for watching. Bye!